Hello friends, in this video we will see the game played by Bhaskara Adiman vs Henry King. This was a very interesting game played by Adiban because he sacrificed some pieces and got a very good advantage which uh, resulted in a magnificent victory. So let's start the game. In this game, Adiban started with the move e4 and Andrew Pin replied with the move e5. Knight to c3, knight to c6, g3, g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, symmetrical structure, d3, d6, f4, trying to create an imbalance in the position. And black replies with the move knight g e7, knight f3, knight d4, centralizing the knight, castle, bishop g4. Bishop e3 attacking the strong piece of black which is knight. Black replies with the move c5 again guarding the d4 knight and making the center quite strong. White plays the move queen d2 trying to plan something like exchanging the pawns and then bringing his bishop to h6 and exchanging the dark square bishop and creating some weakness in the king side of black so here black replies with the move castle knight h4 e cross f4 bishop cross f4 queen d7 and now white plays the move rook f2 trying to double the rook and try to attack with this file so black replies with the move rook a e8 and here white plays the move bishop h6 bishop cross h6 queen cross h6 and here black plays the move b5 trying to create some counter on the queen side here white plays the move h3 first removing the bishop from g4 square bishop e6 rook a f1 doubling the rook on the f file and trying to attack the king and here black plays the move queen d8 white replies with the move knight b1 and trying to bring his knight to the center by the way d2 and e4 and here black plays the move d5 which is an error because it allows white to play the move knight d2 and try to bring his knight on e4 instead of the move d5 black should have played move like king h8 a3 a5 and try to create some counter on the queen side let's go back we will see what if d5 how adiban takes its advantage and here white plays the move knight d2 and trying to go on the square e4 d cross e4 knight cross e4 and now black plays the move knight e f5 you can pause the video and find the winning sequence for white so we'll see how adivan took its advantage in a tactical manner rook cross f5 threat to checkmate on f6 so black was quite forced to give this check queen d4 rook f2 removing the check and still the threat to play knight f6 and here black plays the move f5 and uh, covering the f6 square but now white plays a very good move that is knight g5 now the threat is to checkmate him on the h7 square so now black was forced to play the move queen g7 queen cross g7 king cross g7 and now bishop c6 trying to remove the defender of e6 square and here black replies with the move h6 knight cross e6 rook cross e6 and bishop cross b5 
and now black played the move rook b8 a4 a6 bishop c4 attacking the e6 rook rook e1 check king g2 rook cross b2 bishop cross a6 rook c1 attacking the c2 pawn white plays the move bishop c4 and rook cross c2 rook cross c2 rook cross c2 and now king f3 and now this is an clear passer for white and we'll see how adiban converts this position to a victory king f6 a5 g5 a6 and here black cannot defend the pawn by the way rook c2 because this square is guarded by the bishop so black was forced to play rook c1 and uh, try to defend this pawn so now white played the move knight g2 trying to bring his knight to cover this a1 square here black plays king e5 knight e3 h5 knight c2 g4 check king e3 and now black plays the move g cross h3 a7 g cross h3 a7 h2 and a1 promoting to a queen h1 promoting to a queen and now queen b8 check king f6 queen f8 king g6 bishop f7 check and here black resigned this position because it's a checkmate in two moves try to find the checkmate in two moves so that's it for this video have a great day jai hind